Right, this exam question wants to use the factor theorem to show that x plus 2 is a factor. So what did you do for part A of the question? So you substitute, notice this one is g of x, so you should have done that g of minus 2, so you should say 4 times minus 2 cubed minus 12 times minus 2 squared minus 15 times minus 2 plus 50. All of that is equal to 0, so you need to say, sh hence, x plus 2 is a factor. You do need that second part there to show that it, you get one mark for subbing in and getting zero, the other mark for showing that it is a factor. Then part B says, hence show that g of x can be written in this form here. So what do I need to do to this polynomial that I have at the top? Long division. So I'm going to have my 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 15x plus 50, and I'm going to divide that by x plus 2. So 4x cubed divided by x is 4x squared. Then I multiply and I get 4x cubed plus 8x squared. When I subtract them, I then get minus 20x squared. I pull down the minus 15x. I'm then going to divide this by x, and I get minus 20x. And you get minus 20x squared here, minus 40x. When you subtract them, you then get 25x plus 50. When you divide by here, you're going to get plus 25. And that does give you 25x plus 50 with zero remainder. So we have that g of x is x plus 2, 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. But they want it to be in this bit here. They want you to be able to, to factorize this second bracket. What does that factorize to? 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5 all squared. OK, so that's the six marks for these bits that we've got so far. It was nice that they told us that it was something that was squared, because it was really easy. You just did the square root of that, the square root of that, and made it negative. OK? This is then where it's, it shows us the graph, and it says that the figure 2 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals g of x. Use your answer to part b and the sketch to deduce the value of x for which g of x is less than or equal to 0. The word deduce means to work out, or just use the information you have to work it out. So which parts of the graph here are less than 0? This little part here, right? But it says it also could be equal to 0. Where else is it equal to 0? That bit there. It's not equal to 0 at the origin. No, it's just equal at those points that we've got. Now, do I know what this coordinate here is? What is it? Pardon? Two and a half. It's 5 over 2. It's 2.5 or 5 over 2. Because we know from sketching them that if we've got it in this factorized form here, we know what it is. What's this coordinate here? Minus 2. So for part 1 of the question, it is less than or equal to 1 when x is less than or equal to minus 2. Because when it's minus 2, it's equal to 0. And when it's less than minus 2, the branch is down below it. Or the other place is when x is equal to 5 over 2. I'm sure most of you got this part. Did you get this part as well? That bit was harder to spot that it could also be equal to at this one. Now, part two of the question, it says, when is g of 2x equal to 0? So what's happened to the graph if it's g of 2x? In which direction? In the left and right, the x direction, it has halved. What's happened to the x coordinates? They've gone by a scale factor of 1 over 2 to the x coordinates. So here, when is it equal to 0? Well, it was equal to 0 at minus 2, but we're now going to half it. So it's going to be at minus 1. Um, and the other place is half of this, which is 5 over 4. So it's talking about a transformation and then saying when it is equal to 0. I will very quickly just show you what the mark scheme says as well. Pardon? That's what you had to write. I'll show you where the marks come from, OK? So like we said, sh sh you get one mark for doing the subbing in, another mark for saying it is a factor. You then get these marks for just doing some method of division and factorizing. Then we've got these bits here. That's just worth two marks. The last one, you have to get both of them for the final mark. We said 5 over 4. They said 1.25. So your homework is going to be to do some preparation. Uh, for the test.